Growing up, I never had any interest in God. I never went to church. I didn't believe that the Bible contained any authoritative truth. I learned about God as a child. As I grew older, I followed my sinful heart, following worldly things. I had a background that's growing up in a denominational church, but I saw the uh, gospel as primarily being irrelevant. I actually had gone to graduate school and studied molecular biology and evolution. So studying uh, evolution further threw away the relevance of scriptures to me. I was a longtime scientist and biologist. Because of that, I think that you get into a mindset that science can explain everything. I really didn't count myself as, as those people who had uh, a chance of uh, believing. I was born during the Great Depression into a traditional Jewish household. So I was sent to Hebrew school to learn to pray from the Siddur, our holy book, and to study the rituals, customs, and the traditions of our people. I was raised by Orthodox grandparents, so I spent a lot of time in the synagogue, and uh, I was very devout, and as I grew up, uh, past my bar mitzvah, I was dedicated to Jewish causes, to Jewish philanthropy, and uh, I would probably have been, in this, at this stage of my life, the last person to have given my life to the Lord. Found myself, after ten and a half years of marriage, um, separated and alone and scared. I wanted to find a place that I could be with people. And since I had gone to church as a child and I remembered those things, I thought, well, that was the place to be. I would feel good about myself. In the midst of a painful separation from my wife, which had been going on for about a year and a half at that point, uh, she told me about this church that she was attending and asked me if I would come one Sunday and see what it was like. In 1999, at the end of Sunday service, I um, said a prayer of repentance, turning from my sins, and asking forgiveness and putting my trust in Jesus as my personal Savior. And it was during Alpha that I learned what I did not know about Jesus. God uh, softened my heart to the gospel, allowed me to see the truth of who Jesus Christ was and why he died and what it meant for me. I, I thought I had it together. I had you know, a good scientific career, but yet there was that emptiness. We were having difficulties in our marriage. Hearing a message by Kenneth Maresco on, on First Corinthians, uh, and he talked about the ways of the wise being foolish in God's eyes. God just really drew me close to Him and just really exposed the sin of pride in my, in my heart. One of the key events was uh, coming to Covenant Life Church. I attended a sermon by CJ uh, on the holiness of God, and I was left basically with two alternatives, believe in nothing or believe in God. God actually revealed Himself to me at the point of my greatest pride. It was coming to Alpha that gave me the sense that there was a personal relationship with God possible. And now all of a sudden I have conflict. Here I am a Jewish woman committed to supporting the Jewish people. And here we're talking about Jesus Christ being my personal savior. I came to learn that I was not a traitor, that actually what had been missing in all of the things we had done was the acceptance of Jesus as our Lord, because it's in the books, it's in the prophecies. I discovered something through Alpha. I learned so much about what we were missing in the Jewish faith in terms of the understanding of the prophecies of the Old Testament. There was a message about the coming of the Messiah. I discovered that if you read the prophecies in English, it is true that Jesus was the Messiah that was promised to the Jewish people.